hi guys welcome back to my sewing corner welcome to my channel if you are new here you're very much welcome i'm just going to be illustrating the dress you can see on the screen now you will need about two to three yards of fabric and the kind of material you want to use for this project craft material that has a little bit of stretch okay so that i can give you that well shaped um, corporate dress you need to draft your basic bodies you know this dress has joining at the half length as you can see there's joining here so you have to measure your shoulder to your half length for your bodies and this is what i have for the front part and this is the back panel you can see that the back panel this zip allowance folded in okay so how did i get this neckline i'm going to be telling you the measurements to use to achieve this so because of the width of the dress the neckline you can go with five inches for the width of the neckline okay let's say this is your fabric that you have folded okay using your widest circumference and this is the center okay you know you take your neckline from the center okay so after taking your shoulder measurements okay let's say this from here to your shoulder line okay now you take the width i would say let's say five inches because it's a bit wide now because it is a two-in-one neckline it has a kennel neck and a v-neck or a curved neck or round neck and a v-neck as you see it so for the depth you're going to sum both of them together so for the kennel and the v let's give it five inches so from this tip you come down and mark five inches and then you divide the curve one three inches and the v1 two inches now you're just going to connect your neck your round neckline first can you see that this is my this is the width and this is my shoulder line please don't forget that okay then you connect you come here and you mark about two inches from 1.5 to two inches as you want it you mark it and then you just connect the v neckline okay so and you cut it out like so this is it can you see so this is how you get that kind of neckline now the next thing you want to do okay so you draft your back body using the same neck width that you use and then the neck depth should not be higher than two inches okay so it i can get the best of it sleeve is a long sleeve measurement because of the material you'll be using make sure that there is extra allowance here so that i can there'll be ease of movement okay and let's go to the skirt of this dress so for the skirt this is the front skirt as you can see so now you place your normal you want to take your normal skirt measurement you give an allowance here because of the gorgeous that we have at the center of the dress okay you can use from three to five inches depending on how much fabric you have okay so and then you come up from the base of the skirt by five inches to seven inches it depends on how you want it to be and you're going to sew on that allowance up to that point that you marked okay then you mark one inch above that point and you see you above that seven five to seven inches you come up by one inch or two inches and you notch it so that way it will lay properly can you see you notch it okay so by the time you open it this is what you have please do not slit this end though this is what will form the gorgeous do not slit this extreme end so by the time you open it i just have to use table pins to hold it together so by the time you open it your gorget will form you know this is paper it won't form well here but on your fabric is going to form very well. The alterations you need to do to a basic skirt is what I just explained. Adding allowance from the center for the gorget and sewing on the allowance up to about five to seven inches to the base of the skirt so that you can give allowance for the gorget. Okay, then your skirt pattern you can see that the skirt the, the dress does not have the zip did not get to the skirt. Okay, next thing I want to show you is how to cut the peplum. This is a 180 degree peplum because it's not too full as you can see there are no folders so it's a double layer peplum as you can see so you want to cut your one it's measuring your round circumference your waist circumference okay so this is what i have now you see that i folded this part so you have to give include this allowance and you are cutting it you're going to place it after you have weaved this part or you have turned it on with your bias or ribbon okay you have finished the hedges that's what i mean so you just need this little also by folding it in and folding it. So this is going to be this center is going to be at the back and this will be in front like this on your skirt okay so how do we attach the peplum to the bodies i'm just going to go ahead and staple my this my bodies together so that you can see what we have so all right guys now after you've attached your 
bodies together like this but you must have attached your sleeves to your bodies okay now you attach your sleeves to your skirt too and you just insert it now you're going to take your peplum like i said and you open this place up okay so if you have a zip here you can wind and you can wind zip it up to this point and resume the zip of the skirt and you open this place up okay remember this is the front of the gorget okay so what you would do at the center you're going to place the right side of this your peplum and place it on it one of the edges the one that should be at the side like so okay so you can go up by or by quarter inch above that stitch that is joining both the skirt and the blouse and you just stitch it round round until this other one connects it at this point okay and this will come to the end of today's tutorial if you have any questions for make sure to leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like this video share with your friends and subscribe to our channel like our page on facebook and we'll see you in the next one